The Photograph Collection provides a wonderful glimpse into Houston history and social events over the years, such as the grand opening of the famous Shamrock Hotel. The hotel opened on St. Patrick's Day in 1949 on 15 landscaped acres at the intersection of Main Street and Holcomb Boulevard. The Shamrock Hotel was uh, built by Glenn McCarthy, who was a wildcatter in Houston, and in many ways personified what people perhaps still think of Texans to, the, to this day. It was fabulous in every way, perhaps overdone to some degree. The Emerald Room was the big ballroom, all de decorated in emerald green as a tribute to his Irish ancestry. And uh, there were many exciting events that took place there. Approximately 50,000 attended what's reputed to have been the wildest party in Houston history. McCarthy was wearing dark glasses to hide a black eye, which he reportedly got in a fist fight when he met the train filled with celebrities who came for the party. The swimming pool was a 50-meter Olympic-sized pool with 3-meter and 10-meter diving boards, big enough to accommodate a boat pulling water skiers when they did shows in it. It was just one of the great features of Houston. They had various restaurants and shops and so forth in the hotel, which were fun to go to. The Cork Club was a nightclub in the hotel, and they had top flight uh, nightclub entertainment. The Shamrock became so popular with the city's social set that it was affectionately referred to as the Houston Riviera. Everything was pretty much a little extreme, but that was typical of Glenn McCarthy, who was known to be Edna Ferber's prototype for Jet Rink in Giant, which was her novel that was later made into the movie. It was a place to be seen. It was just a very glamorous place to be in Houston. It was, it was unique. The once glamorous Shamrock Hotel, which had become a symbol of Houston, fell on hard times by the 1980s. It was demolished in 1987 and replaced with a parking lot. Included in the photographic collection are impressive photos capturing the grandeur of Houston's downtown movie theaters. There were three large movie theaters downtown, the Lowe's, the Majestic, and the Metropolitan. In those days, uh, the first-run movies appeared first at the downtown theaters, and that was an event, uh, a date, to go to the downtown movie theaters and perhaps to dinner. The first of Houston's extremely ornate atmospheric movie palaces was the Majestic, which opened in 1923. The interior featured reproductions of statuary and decorations from the Colosseum in Rome and the Parthenon in Athens. The Metropolitan Theater was decorated in the Egyptian style. Ceramic tiles created wall murals depicting pharaohs and a sphinx which kept sentinel near the balcony. The Lowe's State Theater, built next door to the Metropolitan and designed by Alfred C. Finn, opened in 1927. It was the most elaborate Lowe's Theater outside of New York City. Interior furnishings on the mezzanine featured original French antiques from the periods of Kings Louis XIV, XV, and XVI. They were very elegant. It had a very luxurious feel. You felt like you were really going to a very special event instead of just going to a movie. The Majestic closed in September 1971. The Lowe's and the Metropolitan both closed in the fall of 1972. All have been demolished. Other photographs in the collection recall the life of Houstonians during World War II and give early views of Houston International Airport. Photographs in the HMRC also capture important changes in the lives of the city's minority populations. In the spring of 1960, black students from Texas Southern University began a series of sit-ins to force equal service for their race at lunch counters. They staged the first sit-in in Texas on March 5, 1960 at a wine garden's grocery store. The photographic collections in the Houston Metropolitan Research Center are some of the finest and most complete collections in Texas, providing an invaluable documentation of Houston's history.